Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming with another episode of Dragon Age Origins. Alrighty, when we left off, we had found out that uh, Alistair is a kind of special dude. He is uh, more or less directly related to King Kalen and might be closer to the realm of the throne than we realized. So there is that. Uh, but he doesn't want it. He wants to give it to Arl Eamon, who is currently probably the best leadership position, uh, or in the best leadership position for Ferelden, who is currently trapped in his own castle, which is overrun by Zambambos. Isn't this the plot to Resident Evil 4? Or something similar. Anywho. Um, yeah, we're going to have to go in there and rescue him and uh, eliminate the undead threat. Because uh, the village is also suffering from that undead threat. Because they keep coming down and trying to kill everything. Which, you know, it's not fun. So, we'll do that. But... First things first, we need to help out the people as much as we can. So far, there's not much we have left to do. We uh, discovered a guy who wasn't willing to help. And he then decided that we were annoying. Tried to kill us, so we had to kill him. So, you know. Fun shit. Uh, gotta check the quest because I don't remember a lot. Okay. For Redcliffe. Uh, talk to Sir Perth. Uh, talk to the stubborn blacksmith. Find a use for the barrels of oil. I apologize, my uh, yawning. I was a little... <laughs> I was a little sleepy earlier. I only just got up. Okay. Caitlin, a young woman who lives in Redcliffe, is afraid for her brother Bevan. All right. That's right. Got to find a use for the barrels of oil. I would assume a trap would be a good idea. Huh. No, we don't have the men we need. Their numbers just keep growing each night. Well, sure, they take the dead and they, you know, I don't want to think about that. I guess this might be the last night after all. The kingdom is coming. No big deal. So what can we do? Just leave? Try to get out of the village? And abandon everyone? No, we fight. There's no other choice. Well, at least they know that they have no other choice. At least they're willing to go the distance when it comes to that. What in the hell's bells? Is that... I can get up there? Are you sure about that? Uh, the game says maybe? Huh. Are we absolutely sure I can get up there? In some way. If I go around. Nope. That's not an option. Or is it? Nope. <laughs> it's not. Okay. Alright, let's go to the tavern, which I guess is a place we should go. Bella! Not looking for company. Um, wasn't talking to you. I was talking to the other person. Shouldn't you be with the militia? Why? I don't live here. Then what are you doing here? Just waiting until I can leave again. Who are you? I'm not here to talk. There's something about this man's demeanor. I... Uh, I don't know. I have no idea what you're talking about. But right. You do, don't you? I know spy when I see one. Look, I don't know you, and I don't want to. I'm not... I mean, I was just told to... I mean, just leave me alone. You're not good at your job, bud. You, you, you let on a little too much. To be fair, Liliana would have caught that really easily anyway, but... Good job, girl. Also, uh, 
What were you told to do? Nothing. Nobody told me to do anything. Just because you're a Grey Warden doesn't mean you can go around threatening people. Oh, can't I? And how do you know I'm a Grey Warden? I just... Uh, overheard it, that's all. Uh-huh. If you'll excuse me, I want to get to the Chantry before the sun goes down. Answer my questions or else. This will just be easier if you just tell me what you're hiding. I don't want trouble. I... I'm going to the Chantry now. Just leave me alone. Answer my questions. All right, all right, I'll tell you. Just don't hurt me. This is more than I bargained for. Look, yeah, they just paid me to watch the castle and send word if anything should change. But they never said anything about monsters. I haven't even been able to report anything since this started. I'm stuck, same as you, I swear. Who are they? Who hired you to do this? A tall fellow. I forget his name. He, uh, said he was working for Howe. Arl Rendon Howe. He's an important man. Terran Loghain's right hand. So I didn't do anything wrong. Are you sure you didn't do anything wrong? Because he's associated with Loghain, who is a bit of an asshole. I have a feeling you're not doing anything really right, either. So... Yeah. What are you supposed to watch for? Just to report any changes. Honest. All I could send word about was the Arl getting sick. After that, monsters started coming from the castle. So you know how this happened, tell me. I don't know anything about these creatures. When the Arl got sick, I got scared that people would think I was involved. But mm -hmm. I swear I don't know anything about it. They sent me to watch. Maybe they knew the Arl would get sick. I don't know. How do I know you're telling the truth? Here. This is a letter from them. It has instructions and everything. Keep it. Do whatever you want with it. Okay. I just thought I was serving the king and making a bit of coin on the side. You have to believe me. Um, that last option. I don't... I think... You should help defend Redcliffe tonight. Oh, all right. I'll do it. Thank you for your mercy. I won't forget it. Oh, you're not going to be thanking me for long. I can almost guarantee that. There we go. Codex updated. So let's go talk to Bella. Another doomed soul come to drown their sorrows here, I see. A little. If you came here for a drink, you'll have to talk to Lloyd. He's got a vice grip on the spigots. I'm just here to keep the boys from mutiny. I see. So, how has business been? What business? Without the castle soldiers, the only customers we have are local. And they're all in the militia with no money to spend. Yeah, it's usually how it goes. Here, but it's not enough to justify working. Lloyd's a greasy pig. And if oh. I didn't need this job so oh. badly... Oh! Oh! You don't care for Lloyd, I take it. He gropes me and pays me next to Oh, me. no! I suppose it could be worse. Not like a no, 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 that's still, that's still too much, girl. That's still too much. You should not have to go through that. I'm, I'm going to talk to Lloyd. No, no, that'll just make things worse. No. And that's very sweet. No, no, I'm, I'm talking to him. I'm talking to him. How about a raise then? I'd like that. And maybe we could talk after the battle tonight. If we're still here, that is. Uh, shouldn't you be at the Chantry? Later on, yes. Lloyd will lock himself in the cellar. And I'll go to the Chantry. Are you fighting tonight? I am. That's good to hear. I didn't know that. Okay, I should go. Keep safe. Thank you. You too. Oh, uh, what the fuck is this? Graffiti. Oh! Morgan got a level up from the graffiti. Okay. Hello there, friend. Lloyd. Can't say we've ever met before. Stranger to the village, I take it. Haven't had many travelers lately. Uh -huh. This nonsense is bad for business. Bet you regret coming, yes? Uh huh. What do you mean? Oh, you know, evil creatures, impending doom, civil war, and the Earl's dead in the castle. Makes you thirsty, don't it? So, what'll it be? You are here to drink, I hope. What makes you think that he's dead? I mean, then again, we don't really have a lot of options in assuming that he isn't dead. 
So that I get. Uh, I need some questions answered. Fine. Make them quick. Like, uh, shouldn't you be helping defend the village? Why? When them creatures attack, I lock myself in the cellar, just batten the hatches and wait it out. What's the point in getting you myself killed with all the rest of them? If that makes me a coward, then I'm a coward. You're right, you're a coward. <laughs> you are a coward. Be a coward if that's what you want. I could intimidate him to fight in the militia, but I feel like that'll just... Unnecessary, maybe? Fuck it. You're not gonna murder me in my own tavern. I'll take my chances. Hmm. Huh. Huh. Maybe so. Lucky you, I'm not an evil creature. Yes. Lucky me. <laughs> yeah. Uh huh. If only I had less of a moral compass. What do you know about what's happened here? Not a lot. Castle guards stopped coming in about a week back. It's unusual, too. They were my main source of business. After a few days, I thought it strange enough to ask. But nobody heard anything. Mm -hmm. Anyone going up to the castle didn't come back. I see. When the first attack hit, I locked myself in the cellar. I say we just wait for help to come. There is no help coming. Clearly. Let's talk about something, something else. else I can get for you. Uh, who are you anyway? Name's Lloyd. So, why'd you come to the village now? The roads can't be all that safe, not with a war brewing. I came to see Arl Eamon. Well, you must have been mighty surprised. He's not exactly talkative these days, eh? Something else I can get for you? Yeah, I should go. Right then. All right, I'm going to... I'm not willing to kill him, but she does not deserve this guy's bullshit. <sighs> Maybe at some point. Maybe at some point he'll get his end. One way or another. Uh, let's level up Morgan here. Specialization of shapeshifter. I forgot that she had that. Okay. Um, willpower... Yeah, let's get magic up a little. There we go. Oh, boy. That's a thing I need. That is a thing I need. Oh, boy. Is it a thing I need? All right. Uh, everyone else is not even close to a level up yet. All right. I can deal with this. Anything back here of use? Nope. Okay. Surprised you didn't say anything about that. Okay. Can't go back here. Alright. Fair enough. Bye, Bella. So, yeah. I'm gonna save you from that yet. That fucking asshole. Alright. Down we go. Maybe eventually I can get up there. Oh, wait. There's a path up here. I didn't look closely enough, but now I realize. Ooh, two different things. Lesser health poultice, and we swap to Liliana and break that chest open. Ooh, large wooden round shield. What now? Well, I mean, that was it. Thank you, Liliana. You're the best. And your ginger, which is already a point for you. Alright, so we won't go up there quite yet. Let's see if we can get the blacksmithy. Go away. Curse you. Leave me in peace. You've already taken everything out of my stores. There's nothing left. This Owen the blacksmith, I need to speak to you. Huh? Who is that? What do you want? I've been through enough. I know you have. I prefer not to speak through a door. Can I come in? Certainly not. I don't know you and I don't want to. Off you go. I need to talk about repairs for the militia. That's so. Well, if Bernard wants more weapons, you can give him the same answer I did. 
He can make them himself. He clearly can't. I need some smithing done. If you didn't notice, the smithy is closed. The forge is cold. You've come to the wrong place. Please, I just want to talk to you. Mm. All right, all right. I don't know why you're so determined. Here, yeah, I'll get the locks. Thank you. Oh, boy. I didn't think I would be able to talk him into that. Jeez. Make his breath. What is that smell? It's like someone set a brewery on fire. Somebody's been drinking. <laughs> you want can you, uh, can you blame him? Mind telling me who you are? Also, I didn't expect that sing-songy thing out of Alistair. <laughs> Somebody's been drinking. <laughs> that is, uh, that was, that was actually kind of great. <laughs> I like that. Oh, Alistair, you are the best. Alright, my name is Tomas, a Grey Warden helping Van Tegan. A Grey Warden, is it? <laughs> it takes all kinds. You're right, it Anyhow, does. My name's Owen, though you might already know that. I do. Care to join me as I get besotted? Or is there something in particular you wanted? Uh... <laughs> Why have you locked yourself in the smithy? My girl, Valena. Is one of the Alessa's maids, and she's trapped up there in the castle, but the mayor won't send anyone for her. She's been my life since my wife passed on two years ago. Now she's dead, or soon to be. I don't care what happens to me, or the village, or anyone! So you intend to drink yourself to death? Why not? It's not like we're going to live past the night anyhow. Or are you going to save us? I intend to try. Is that so? Hmm. Maybe it's the drink talking, but you almost sound like you believe that. I do. It'd do me the world of good to think maybe someone like you could go in and find her. Provided any of us live through the night. What about the militia? They need your help. If you look for Valena, I'll reopen the smithy and make some repairs for the militia. I can do that much. I can promise you that. Not good enough. Murdoch said the same damn thing, and I didn't believe him either. You are asking a great deal, you wretched little man. I want a promise. Promise me that you'll look for her. That you'll bring her back to me if you can. I'll promise you. I'll, I'll find her. I'll accept that. I read some of the lines it's something while I was to saying hope that. For at least. Yeesh. Oh, lovely. Shall we next begin rescuing kittens from trees? Shut up, Morgan. Right then. It seems I have some work to do relighting the forge, and I suppose I'll have to find some iron. Hmm, maybe at the mill. Oh, Murdoch just better send his men here as soon as possible if I'm going to get to all these repairs and get them done by nightfall. If you Good need to hear. anything done, well, just let me know. I've got a lot to do now, so you'll have to excuse me. Will do, Owen. Morgan disapproves. Morgan can... You know what? I'm sick of Morgan's bullshit. Where... Do I need to leave to be able to... Re-select my party? Ah. I must admit, it feels good to be up and... Doing something finally. I'm sure. There's no way I'm sobering up before morning, however. <laughs> uh, let's talk business. Right. I haven't got much, obviously, but I'll do whatever I can for you. Sounds good to me. All right, you do have a decent amount of stuff. Got a mace, got a longsword. Hmm. Huh. Dwin sword. Oh yeah, that's right. I kind of, kind of got that. All right. Messy kills. It specifically has messy kills as a point of pride on it. Yeesh. One of the last things brought to safety by a clan that fled Fellhammer Thag during the first blight. Never able to truly reestablish themselves, the last of the clan has carried the sword with him to exile on the surface. Oh. Oops. <laughs> Welp. 
What a ignominious end to that clan. Mmm. Didn't know. Oh, man. Now I feel like an asshole, which I am. Okay. This is not... Hard to get more basic than this metal hat. That's fair. Uh, not much better. Yeah. Basic protection for the rank and file of a major militia are those who have yet to fully invest themselves in a life on the battlefield. It's heavy and hardy, but quickly forged. It's just not good enough to replace what I currently have. Do not have the strength for heavy chainmail gloves, but they would be an improvement. Scale gloves, however. Scale boots. Scale armor. God. Damn it. If you, if you had just had slightly better armor. Gah. All right. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Alright. Not much else I can do. At least in that regard. Guess I can... I... I don't want to sell the family sword. But at some point, it's just going to be a detriment to the inventory I'm carrying. Ugh. I'll sell Dwin's sword, at least. There's only so much room for uh, sentimentality that I can, uh, can keep up with. Alright. Uh, the dagger I don't need. Pretty sure. Um, I would really, really like to get that, uh, that scale. But unfortunately I don't have the, uh, don't have anything better to put on the body. To at least get the bonus for the scale. Alright. Greater chance of deflecting missile attacks. I guess with the chainmail, the uh, spells and talents cost less to activate. So I guess I'm fine with what I'm currently running with. <sighs> He's for now, anyway. Should probably check on him. It feels good to be up and doing something finally. I'm sure. There's no way I'm sobering up before morning, however. Fair enough. Uh, what do you know about what's going on? You mean why are these creatures attacking the village? Obviously, something wicked corrupts the castle. Corrupts. My daughter used to tell me the Arlesa was up to something, hiding things from her husband. Oh. I told Valena she was imagining things. But maybe the Alessa was involved in something. Blood magic, maybe. Huh. What else did your daughter say? She thought the Alessa was having an affair with some tutor she hired for the boy, Connor. Oh. I never listened much to her talk about it. Though I wish now I had. It doesn't matter I anyway. See. She's lost to me. And I can't do anything about her warnings now. It's alright. It's alright. I will get her back. You think the Arlesa made Arl Eamon sick? I'd never make such accusations. But maybe if she was using foul magic, then maybe she just did it that. Hmm. What else do you know about her? Only that she's an Orlesian girl from beyond the Western Mountains. Mm -hmm. Far too young for our Arl. That's what I say. I see. And too proud and edge strong from the sounds of it. Have you told anyone about it? Of course not. And who would I tell? 
And what good would it do now, eh? I just wish I'd paid more heed to my girl. Fair enough. Find go my Belena. That's all I want. Will do. All right. Just figured I'd try and get some more, uh, more intel on what's going on. Possibly the Arlesa's behind it. She was possibly having an affair, which is a typical noble thing in the first fucking place. So at least there's that. Berwick. I can't believe I'm going to fight. That's what I get for mixing myself up in all this. You're right. So, uh, get used to it, buddy. Murdoch. Well, it looks like Owen's finally doing the repairs we need. You're welcome. The damn fool is falling over a drunk and still manages to make smithying look easy. Good enough, I say. Absolutely. I'll send one of my men to inform Bantigan the militia is ready for battle. Okay. I still need to speak to Sir Perth. You'll find him and his men at the mill by the bridge to the north. All right. Right. Let's hope we see morning. Absolutely. So we need to head over to... I'm wondering, Morgan. Do you believe in the makeup? Certainly not. I've no primitive fear of the moon, such that I must place my faith in tales so that I may sleep at night. But this can't all be an accident. Spirits, magic, all these wondrous things around us, both dark and light. You know these things exist. The fact of their existence does not presuppose an intelligent design by some absentee father figure. So it is all random then. A happy coincidence that we are all here. Attempting to impose order over chaos is futile. Nature is, by its very nature, chaotic. I don't believe that. I believe we have a purpose. All of us. Yours, apparently, being to bother me. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, well, you know, girls, 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 retract the claws. You're both right, as far as I'm concerned. The way I see it, order, the order of how the world works is what we make of it. So, just find your own place and do it. Because, uh, quite frankly, otherwise the world will just go on as it normally does. With or without you. I guess we're going into a house. Alright. Hi there. Dernal Garrison. Yes, what can I do for you? Nothing for Very now. Well. Why did I walk in here? If there's nothing that they can do... Ooh. Well. Oops, if I go to the right person. Alright, you guys. Get out of the way. Whoops. Hey! Topaz and the health pulses. Thank you. You the best. Alright. Now let's get out of here, huh? Uh, apparently being a good person is too much for Morrigan, so. There are many great men of lost kings who return to their lands to reign in glory. I am not lost, nor for that matter a king. And there's nothing glorious about me. You are Merrick's son. Your humor is pretty you great. You are the rightful king of Ferelden. I am the son of a star-struck maid and an indiscreet man who just happened to be king. <sighs> Look, I can't be king. Some days I have trouble figuring out which boot goes on which foot. Complete fools are made leaders of kingdoms all the time. And you're not a complete fool. What an utter relief. And don't worry <laughs> about the boots. Kings don't need to dress themselves. That's what advisors are for, isn't it? And starstruck maids, apparently. <laughs> well, if anything, the starstruck, starstruck maids are there for undressing them. Uh, <laughs> why am I engaging in this? Why am I engaging in the humor that these two are going at? It with? Uh, to be fair, to be fair, I like them both. Morgan, I'm a little less enthused by currently. 
but uh, I don't think I have a choice on that one. No word Landmark from tree. The castle? No, all is still, as it has been for days. And it is an unnatural stillness, as though there is naught in there but death. Say no more. The Arl lives. Andraste's gift? Small white wildflower, commonly, commonly known as Andraste's grace. Oh, I misread that. That's my bad. <laughs> I was reading the gift part. All right. And I will not listen to your inauspicious chatter. All righty. Well, these guys are uh, debating whether or not they uh, want to keep fighting. Is it sort of like coming home again, but with more undead. A little. A little. Why are these boats out here? Just sitting there, waiting to head out. Sir Perth. Greetings, Grey Warden. I am as relieved as Van Tegan is to see you here. I Good. must admit that I do not quite know how to address you. Is my lord sufficient? I mean... I don't care what you call me. I am Sir Perth, until recently in direct service of Arl Eamon of Redcliffe. For now, my charge is defending the village from these evil assaults. Fair enough. Not that I had chosen not to seek out the urn of sacred ashes, perhaps I would have fended off whatever evil befell the castle. Or perhaps I would be dead. Ah, oh, well. Either or. Grey Warden aiding our defense. Perhaps all is not lost. Uh, is there anything I can do to help? Have you considered using the oil in the village store? No one told me of this. Oil, you say? Oh, you How didn't much know. exactly? Enough to set many monsters aflame. Assuming that would hurt them. Yes, I see what you have in mind. That might be effective if used carefully. Absolutely. Yes, excellent idea. I'll send some men to collect the oil. We'll use it to slow these creatures down. And then, have you anything else to wait them. in the meantime? <laughs> uh, I have some questions for you. Ask me whatever you wish. Will do. Where can I get supplies? I'm not sure. Murdoch mentioned a blacksmith in the village, but I believe the militia is using everything he had. Beyond that, you might try the village store. It's locked up, but there may be items of use still within. I do not know. Fair enough. Uh, tell me what what happens. Tell me about what's happened here. You know about as much as I do. I returned a day before the attacks began, having heard strange rumors about the abandoned castle. Mm -hmm. I was the only knight to survive the first attack. Since then, I found others returning from the Arlesa's quest. Until we get to the source of this evil, though, I do not think it will stop. And I don't believe we will be enough. You mentioned something about the sacred urn? When the Isle fell sick, we were at a loss. Nothing worked to cure him, and he just kept getting worse. Mm -hmm. Finally, Arlesa Isold came up with a plan. The Urn of Sacred Ashes is a legendary artifact said to hold great healing powers. If found, it might save him. Mm -hmm. They say the followers of Andraste smuggled her ashes out of Tevinta and hid them in Ferelden. The Urn's never been heard of since. We knights volunteer to seek it out. Few of us have returned. Many are still out there, unaware of what is happening here. Just, just what was the Arl sick with? We were never certain. He thirsted for water and then grew weaker and weaker. He brought in a mage, but even that did nothing. The Alessa believed he was cursed and that we needed the power of Andraste herself or he would surely perish. Why did the Alessa believe anyone could find the urn? The Al once employed a scholar, Brother Genetivi. He had Genetivi. proof the urn was in Ferelden, or so I was told. Can no one find the other knights and bring them back? Eventually, perhaps. The ones I have here were those near enough to recall within the last few days. Gotcha. I only returned myself because I was passing by Redcliffe and heard the news of strange attacks. So you just came back by chance. Okay. Carry on. As you wish, Grey Warden. Make a watch over you. Thank you. Alright, so we found a use for the oil. We now have Sir Perth prepped and ready with it. And uh, we're going to go do our thing. But for now, we're going to end the episode because we're just slightly over time. So, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. Click the like button if you like this particular video. And share in comments so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together and I will see you all in the next episode. Shout out to SVS on YouTube for subscribing to my Patreon and supporting the channel. I really do appreciate it. This has been the one the only Stray Cat playing games and eventually figuring out that I can help out this village without uh, screwing it all up. 
Uh, Dwin isn't helping, but I managed to get the rest of these people to help, including that one spy who is really bad at his job, and uh, letting them know about the oil, which would absolutely cause a lot of damage to the undead, because usually the undead is flammable as fuck. For you!